Welcome back, gang. It's Deltia from DeltiasGaming.com, and I got a new set I want to talk about, and that's the Withered Hand. Basically, a Vicious Ophidian-type magic recovery and healing set for magic builds. So if you're struggling with sustain and completing Veteran Milster Arena or Dungeons, and you're looking for a strong sustain set that you can get with an Overland, Withered Hand is for you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So you wanted Magic Templar builds, and I'm working on some builds, and uh, basically, what if paired with twice born star which is likely considered best in slot is withered hand now this isn't going to be the most damage producing set of all time but it's going to be really helpful for folks that ocp uh wanting to beat veteran of maelstrom arena and have easy clears or they're struggling with sustain and resource management because their healers aren't using the appropriate buffs and debuffs so this set right here you can get an alakir desert so overland set it comes in jewelry and then uh, two body pieces the way i like to use it when an enemy dies you get back health and magic and that health that you can receive will benefit from major mending and other sources that amplify your heal and receive the downside is it can only occur once every three seconds. Really impressed with this set for easy VMA clears and also just dungeons tooling around. Though you lose about 4,000 damage per second over Grothdar, uh, an infallible ether, or a moon dancer. Okay, before we go any further, I want to talk about sources to get back magic. So there's some ways you can get back magic without just doing regen. So a couple different ways are particular skills. Uh, usually every build has a specific way, every class, but for specifically Magic Templar, it's channel of focus. So putting this down basically gives you a couple hundred recovery every second, and the cost is really next to nothing. It lasts for a very long time. If you step out of it uh, during its last second, you still get that buff for a while. Other players can help us out. Usually healers will be running these specific skills. Elemental Drain. So you'll have to use a Destruction Staff to get this benefit, but every time you weave in Light attacks with element, metal, metal, metal damage, specifically destruction staff, you're getting back some magic. Restoration staff also has one called Siphon Spirit. So this similar, anytime you attack, you get a base percentage of your magic back and health. Another one I highly recommend healers run is Necrotic Orb. Typically, I like to run Mystic Orb because it restores more magic uh, and magic over time. Another source of getting magic back is Undaunted Command. So specifically using synergies is important for a variety of reasons, but don't undervalue this specific passive right here. That's another way to get back. Destruction Staff is very powerful for resource uh, sustain because Restores 3,600 magic back when you kill a target. However, Templar typically use dual wield or puncturing sweeps as their main available attack, not force shock here and morphed into force pulse. So you're going to miss out on a lot of these opportunities to get back magic. Also, you have potions and using potions effects last 30% longer. That's specifically useful to level that up because if you're using potions on cooldown, essentially every 45 seconds, you can get more max recovery. And another source of magic sustained is called Arcane Well. It's a 120 point passive here in The Apprentice. I'm still putting on the finishing touches, uh, but here's like the best in slot gear that I'm using for what I have available. This isn't necessarily the most damage producing possible, but uh, I'm gonna show you and explain it in my build video, but just kind of see, Twice Born Star, Grothdar, Moon Dancer for more max magic with bull power swords and a back bar Maelstrom staff. So that's going to be kind of the high damage, low, low sustain, basically no sustain, tons of damage setup. Then the other setup here is the Withered Hand setup. The nice thing about this setup is, number one, you don't have to have best in slot gear or to run trials to get any of this stuff. You can still run this particular build without a VMA staff and still have a lot of success because we're using dual wield, not specifically weaving destruction staff attacks. So you're gonna still get a decent amount of damage with the setup. Also, Twice Born Star is craftable and it's in Craglorn, so you don't have to have any of the DLCs. Withered Hand, you can find in Alakir from doing the delves, uh, doing the dungeons, the world bosses, and the dolmens. So it's a nice setup for those that want a lot of sustain. So let's show you side by side what a little run here and just normal uh, City of Ash looks like so you can see. Does this setup really work? All right, so we're going to do a simple trash pull here in normal 
City of Ash. And on the top, you can see my twice born star Grothar set up, and it really rips the damage single target and AoE. And at the bottom, you got the Withered Hand set up. So, the nice thing about this is you have some sustained and also some healing. So, Harness Magic on my front bar with the Willpower Swords gives me a nice, huge damage shield. So, with the Withered Hand set up, you're only losing about 2,000 magic, so you still have a really nice shield. If you look at the top screen, I'm starting to get a little bit low on magic, but I'm killing stuff fast. I also don't really have a self heal and only have harness magic. Don't have repentance either. So I'm gonna have to use my sweeps and my shield for protection. So you can notice right here, I drop a Destra ulti up top and I'm killing things, but I'm not getting that magic back and I hit low. Flip fast forward to the bottom, you look, hit that little Destra ulti and look at my magic, look at the sustained. So I'm getting back magic from kills, I'm getting back magic from Withered Hand and the Destra ulti specifically and Elemental Blockade. It gives me a nice boost in my sustain. The obvious downside is it's not gonna be as effective in single target application, but rarely is there a pure single target fight in this game. Well, gang, I hope you find this helpful and hopefully it helps you get through some of that content. If you don't have necessarily the best in the slot gear or trouble in managing your resources and whatnot, because that Wither Head Insight can be really, really helpful for newer players or people that are struggling with the Magic Templar and other classes that lack a little bit of sustain. I'm talking about you, Magic Dragonite. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you like this content. Let me know if you want more best in the slot videos. I got something in store for stamina users regarding testing Spriggans. Is it really that good? Why, why not? So stay tuned for that and of course the Magic Templar build.